This video is going to be on how much USFL players are going to get paid in the 2024 season. I get so many people in my comments that are just idiots saying, oh, you never played football before or you were never an NFL agent. Bruh, shut up. So I'm going to tell you about this email that I got from the USFL, which is pretty cool. So you get emails like this all the time as an NFL agent, especially when you have players that are in other leagues so the cfl and now the other leagues have your name as well whether that's the xfl or the usfl so today i got an email which is pretty cool from the new president of the usfl daryl johnston moose who is a famous dallas cowboy he is was a fullback for a long long time the prior president at usfl just left i think his name is brian woods he went to start up a a summer league well a spring league for high school students so yeah good luck with that but i'm going to break down this email that i got the attachment to the email is showing how much players are going to be paid in the 2024 season so let's kick this off so the email caption says 2024 usfl contract and talking points and it says as we wrap up our second regular season season and prepare for our third we wanted to reach out and provide information about our 2024 contract in our league attach this key information about the usfl with contacts and blah 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 contacts and uh, please reach out to us if you have any questions but anyway it's signed by daryl johnston again it's pretty cool but anyway the the main part of this video is the attachment so they are breaking this up in the weekly amount for 2024 and the estimated season total. They break it up in active salary and inactive salary. All that means is if you're a player and you're actually playing every week, you suit up and you can go into the game, that's active. If you are injured or sidelined for whatever reason, you are inactive. So for an active salary, you are going to be making $5,350 per week. So out of their eight teams they're going to play however many weeks and every week you're going to get paid fifty three hundred dollars roughly you get a training camp salary of seven hundred dollars per week honestly i think they could do a little bit better than that i think that's shoddy but i get it they're trying to you know keep costs low they do have a 401k contribution which actually does kind of suck as well if you can you can get a over 161 dollar match in a 401k in almost a lot of different companies, Fortune 500 companies. Uh, from there, so they do that in total. All of your benefits, you should be looking at a total active salary of a little under $6,000 per week. And then you do that over the season, you're going to be looking at $61,910, which is basically 62000 which is not bad. Depending on how many weeks you play, especially if you don't go into the playoffs, that's not bad. So you can get $62,000 for playing basically, what, 12, 14 weeks for the USFL. Now, if you go on and win in the playoffs, you get the same amount. So there's only eight teams. You got a good chance of making the playoffs. So the divisional round active salary is, again, a little under $6,000. If you win the championship game, you win the whole thing. You win nearly eleven thousand dollars so your complete payout you're looking at seventy eight thousand seven hundred and thirty two dollars so 80k if you win the season for the usfl which isn't bad now they also do give you a regular season housing stipend again a regular season see you got to make sure you understand the fine details here they're not talking about training camp your training camp it seems like you're on your own with that seven hundred dollars you got to make that work but if you make it on the team, regular season housing stipend is $1,600, which is pretty good. You find an apartment, hopefully $1,200, $1,400 range. You move in. You use that extra $200, $300 on internet, you know, energy, whatever else you need, water, gas, and whatever else. If it goes over that, your food and stuff like that, which you probably will, you're going to be using your paycheck for. And they go over training camp size and, you know, a regular season roster size. After that, they go over playing in other leagues, which is really key. If you're an agent out there or you're a player out there, you want to pay attention to that part. They basically say, 
when you can leave and sign with another NFL team. I think it's not. I don't like the December 31st, 2023 deadline because if an NFL team calls on because they're in the playoffs and they need somebody to come on their team to fill in, you could potentially be playing on a Super Bowl team. I think they should kind of like modify that, but I get what they're saying. They have the 2024 offseason timeline, which is the USFL championship in July. Then they basically have an off period until February when they have their own college draft, it looks like. And then they have the USFL training camp in March 2024, and they kick off the season in April of 2024. I don't know. It seems like they're going to move up a little bit. I feel like the USFL started in May, but that's neither here nor there. They had other little blurbs on there that might be interesting. And then they list the team league's office and how you can get in contact with them. I can email Moose and be like, man, what's up, bro? But I won't do that. They got the other teams and what to expect and who to contact. I, you know, there's Mike Riley, Mike Nolan, Todd Haley, Curtis Johnson, who's a longtime New Orleans fixture, which is cool. Skip Holtz. So, at least for 2024, this is what players in the USFL are due to be made. It's not the worst salary in the world. I think 80K, especially if you win the championship, is good. It gets you a chance to get an XFL tryout, a CFL tryout, or NFL tryout. If it doesn't work out, you can always come back the next year and hopefully hopefully come back the next year if the league is still there and try to get some some more money in your in your bank account. Now, as a professional athlete, unfortunately, that is not enough. You're going to have to work somewhere else, I think, or try to get on another team on another league. But it's a good starting place. You're not going to starve. You're going to be able to go out and perform. The problem is spending all your extra money on, you know, gym stuff or sustaining yourself because you got to eat the right way. You got to go get massages. You got to go to the stretch lab. So different things like that. Anyway. Just wanted to break down from my experience what I know to be true as a former NFL agent, former player, football player. And uh, I think it's pretty cool I got that email. Until next time, Heritage Sports. I'm a winner. I've always won. I'm going to win. Y'all know that.